Hi, the Smoking Elk here, and this is my Barbecue Better series. Now, over the course of the next 12 weeks, I want to get as many of you into barbecue as possible, whether you're moving from a gas barbecue to charcoal, whether you're just starting out in barbecue, or whether you just want to take your charcoal game to the next level, this is the right place and the right series for you. Over the next 12 weeks, I'm going to talk you through the basics of how to get the best out of your charcoal barbecue. We're going to talk about what essentials I always have to hand in the shack. We're going to look at the different types of fuel. We're going to look at how to regulate your airflow, your temperature, using your vents on your barbecue and then we're going to cook some lovely dishes along the way. First up, let's take a look at some of the essentials I always have to hand in my barbecue shack. So this week I'm going to show you what items I always have to hand in my shack. So first things first, you want a good quality charcoal. I use home up charcoal from London Log Company. You want a good quality charcoal. You don't want any of those instant light nonsense that you buy from a petrol station from a garage. Get yourself good quality charcoal, be it lump wood or good quality briquettes. Next up, you'll want something to light them. So I use these eco-friendly wood wall fire lighters. You pop one of these under the next item, a chimney starter, and it gets your charcoal going in about 10 minutes. Next up, chimney starter. Don't be without one of these. This stops you having to buy that instant light rubbish, having to use any accelerants to get your charcoal burning. You just pop one of those fire lighters under here, you have your charcoal in here, and within 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, your charcoal is ready to go. A lighter, you're gonna need something to light that fire lighter. So I always have to hand a lighter, or I like my nifty little flamethrower. Obviously, with fire, things get hot. You're gonna want yourself some nice heatproof gloves. These are welders gloves. Get yourself a good set of heatproof gloves, and they're gonna save your fingers. Next up, I always have my charcoal grate to hand. So this is handy when you dump your coals in, you want to move them to one side or move them wherever, handy little charcoal rake. Wire brush to clean the grates. Once I've got the grates up to temperature, they're nice and hot, I'll give them a once over with this wire brush, make sure they're nice and clean. So this is another item that's always on hand in my shack. This might not be something that you think would be in a barbecue shack, but I always have my standing knife to hand because it is fiddly trying to open those bags of charcoal, trying to do the little string trick where you pull the string and it all opens nice and neatly. No, I haven't got time for that. Standing knife, take the top off, charcoal, ready to come out of the bag. Goes without saying, you want yourself some good quality tongs. And of course, if you're cooking burgers, you'll want a spatula. I also do a lot of cooking on cast iron griddles and soap stones. I like to know the temperature of the stone of the cast iron before I cook on it. So I have myself an instant read thermometer. You can pick these up for about 10, 15 quid. They're very handy to have. Talking of temperature, I always, always, this is one of the first things I recommend, I always, always have my thermo pen to hand to take the temperature of your meat to make sure it's not underdone or overdone. I also like to have one of these, which is a thermometer. We're going to go more into this in one of my how-tos soon, but this is a thermometer that you leave in your meat. As the saying goes, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So you leave this probe in your meat and it monitors the temperature of your meat throughout the duration of your cook. Lastly, one of the most important things to have when you're cooking outside always always have a cold beer so that's my how-to for this week a list of items that i always have to hand in the shack some essential some non-essential i hope you found this useful